Hey guys, Nature here. Um, I haven't done a video where I've come on and talked to you guys, unless it was a voiceover, in a few, I don't know, lots of videos ago. But I wanted to show you some, a vintage flip book and a snail mail um, kind of thing. So here is the snail mail. And I used... Tim Holtz wall, Wallflower. I really like this paper pad. Um, I saw it like during like CHA releases when it came out. Uh, it's a few years now. But um, I never really saw it in person. And I never really saw um, a lot of people using it. I know I saw Bona um, haul it. Hey Bona, if you're watching, I miss your videos. Um, but yeah, I yeah, I think I saw her and then that was it. But when I saw it in Joann's over Mother's Day holiday, I decided to get it. And um, I was obsessed with it for a few days as all my paper pads. I always kind of use them repeatedly for the next few projects and then um, I'll set it aside for another time but long story short I used it for the snail mail um, I used some Prima stamps this clock and the birdcage is a Prima stamp and the rest is from the uh, paper pad um, except these flowers were left over from another project and they seem to match so I used that and then for the hinges I used from the ephemera pack which I had no clue that Tim Holtz had ephemera packs and I got two of them this one is called thrift shop it's extremely vintage of course and then this one is called Emporium and so I just used a mixture of the two um, in these projects but um, if you like vintage ephemera, find these at Joann's because they're really nice. And they're packed um, with like 54 pieces, I think. So anyway, that's the front cover. And on the inside, this is where you would slip your letter to your pen pal. See? Slips, you know, slips there. And then over here, this is just like the inside of the card, so to speak. So here I just put... Um, hug, laugh, smile, have joy. And I added some washi tape, um, a butterfly from the ephemera pack, washi, um, this little gypsy cord from Prima. Really pretty stuff. A button from Brie and uh, that box of uh, goodies that we swapped. And so yeah, and then this is the back. So I'm obsessed. I love this paper. It's very vintage and I like it a lot. So that's that. And then I made a flip book and I took a picture on Instagram. Let me see if I can find it for you guys really quick. Um, of all of the things that I wanted to use, I kind of like took out all of these things. Um, let's see if it'll focus. So all these things from my stash, I've got lace, I've got some rosettes that I made. Um, up here some vintage note paper some old K and company um, like layered stickers um, some paper from this uh, collection and some ephemera from the collection some flowers just a lot of little things and I ended up using pretty much everything that I set out to use except for a couple pieces and I'm going to use all those things on a card and um, hopefully I can um, film that for you but if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me I am XO Nitra so yeah shameless plug but anyway and I use pretty much everything on that little that little um, spread so I use some Prima cording to close it um, I handmade this flower right here this rosette uh, these two uh, apple blossoms are from uh, the rubber buggy I use this egg from my stash from years ago um, here's a K and Company um, layered uh, sticker and a glittery egg, a tassel. Uh, this is this bird is from Kaisercraft. I forget what collection. It's so old, but very pretty. So, 
And then here's the, this, this is the Gypsy Cord from Prima. It's new and it is so soft. It comes with like several different um, types and colors in one bundle. Um, and these ones are soft, oh, so luscious. Okay, so, and then this is the spine. And I used an um, accordion uh, binding method. So it says count your blessings and then here's a tassel. Love it. So uh, the gist of this flipbook isn't to send goodies. I know that's, I think I get the reason for flipbooks kind of mix, mixed up because I, I don't think I do them right. But anyway, and I think I've told you guys that, but what I decided to do with my flipbooks is to add inspirational sayings and quotes on each page and then just decorate it just so the recipient can have something uplifting to look at and if I have extra goodies of course I'll add them but um, I think this is a great way to do that so but for this one I decided to make it into um, something that you can give to a girlfriend a cousin um, you know, aunt, whoever that, you know, probably has been, you know, working crazy hours and they just need to relax and chill out. And so um, I decided to put in little things on each page. Uh, I think there's two pages that are just strictly decorative, but um, where there's like things that they can do to unwind. So on the first page, I've got a, uh, what is this? A birdcage charm <laughs> from uh, the so, um, pack of charms that Brie sent to me in um, in our swap. Uh, this is another Kane Company layered sticker. This is from that Kaiser Craft uh, pack. I can't remember. It was like a Valentine's thing. It had like cherubs in it and stuff. I don't know if you guys will remember. Um, another Kane Company layered sticker. And then this circle piece is ephemera from the Tim Holtz pack. And then um, it, it just has... Uh, 10 things that you can do to unwind. So it says you can have a bubble bath, uh, do a face mask, have a mani-pedi, um, put curls in your hair. That's all. That's always something that uplifts my spirits if I'm dying, down or tired or whatever. Um, bake something yummy. Uh, make a DIY project, salsa, which is like salsa dance. Um, make a donate box. So go through your closet, throw away stuff you don't need. That will definitely make you feel better. Um, or don't throw it away, but, you know, put it in a box to donate. Um, make some cards, of course. And then uh, make a smoothie. So um, I put that on there. <clears throat> Excuse my crackling voice. Um, and so over here, I used another Kane Company layered sticker. These two are ephemera packs from Tim Holtz, from that Tim Holtz pack. Um, this is a little clothespin from my swap with Brie, some lace from Brie. And then in here, I have these old um, recipe cards. And so I put down, so I went to Pinterest. If you're on Pinterest, you know, you probably have a gazillion recipes pinned somewhere. And so I, I put one for a vegan chocolate, chocolate chip cookies um, and a banana smoothie, which is one of my all time favorite ones. Except this one, I added, uh, I said to add a mango because that's a really good combo and then I left one blank so that the recipient can um, if they have a favorite one they can write it in there so that was good something uh, cute okay, and this is a six by six uh, and so this says believe in yourself and uh, just some ephemera pieces handmade flower here handmade rosette here um, apple blossom this is just strictly decorative um, so pretty um, so that cane company layered sticker it's got glitter on it a button um, uh, music paper handmade rosette um, the rest is from Tim Holtz and the ephemera pack I thought that look, that picture of that lady was cute I don't know <laughs> so cute okay and then here um, I was gonna clip something here but I left it uh, I think I am gonna find something to clip here um, I was thinking of printing out a date night outfit and or like a night out with your girls like with your girlfriends going you know out to a restaurant or a nice jazz place or whatever uh, I think I am, I'm gonna clip that on this little clip and put it here uh, just like I don't know probably go to Pinterest and find something uh, cute 
a cute little outfit to print out but yeah um apple blossoms another little egg and then over here i put um, my favorite diy uh face or body scrub recipe um and it's just sugar green tea leaves um a little olive oil mix it and store it in a drawer in a jar and that makes your skin so smooth you guys i love it um and this dress farm is from the tim holtz uh pack and then uh, just some extra little things that's the back so um i really love love making this i thought it was very fun and when i make a card uh, with it i'm gonna write a letter and i'm gonna find someone to send this to so um yeah so hope that gave you guys uh some ideas on you know what to use or put in your flip books and uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys with another video all right bye bye